mining in Ecuador has reached a point of um, attraction where 90% of the investment associated with exploration activities are connected to Australian companies in the range of 1.2 billion US dollars, uh, following by uh, way distance the Canadian investment in the range of 125 million US dollars. Australian companies doing business in Ecuador have found that after some interesting conversations that we held here in IMARC 2018, uh, created the venue for us to improve certain rules and regulations. Within four to five months, we did those changes and we brought um, a more attractive level of increasing that investment. A clear indicator of that is that 53% of the foreign direct investment happening in Ecuador in 2018 came into the mining sector, roughly 800 million US dollars. And as of today, in the first semester of 2019, 62% of the foreign direct investment is associated with the mining. There were certain changes, certain suggestions that we implemented and will be highlighting the most relevant, which was scout drilling. Here in Australia, scout drilling is a regular part of exploration activities. But in Ecuador, in Ecuador, there was certain regulation that established that you shall be at least four years at the initial exploration phase before performing scout drilling. That is one change that we did after several of the junior CEOs here last year. And immediately after that, we really boom with scout drilling activities that has, that has led to better investments. We are actually doing the best to have a cadaster reopen to understand. The cadaster was closed in January 2018. We have done joint efforts with the World Bank and the Inter-American Development Bank in order to clean and have an anti-hackers cadaster uh, system that really portrays the reality of the mining sector. That project has been an immediate goal, but it has taken us more than 11 months to come to the point to say that 90% of the existing cadaster is clear. Clean in the sense that compliance 100% with the law, and in that process, more than almost 3,000 mineral rights have been removed, which confirms the, de the decision made by our president to review and shut in the cadastre activities. This is something that by the end of the first uh, semester of 2020 will allow us to go with a tendering process, hopefully on the, third, on the Q3 of 2020, which will reopen opportunities for investors, not only from Australia, from all around the world, in a transparent way. And this is also combined with a formal policy mining that our current government administration launched in Mars in May 2019. That creates the adequate investment environment under six pillars, being the most relevant what we call sustainability on environmental and social issues. This combination will create a very interesting environment for investors to come in Ecuador. This event offers me the opportunity to see state-of-the-art technology available from Australia, um, interact with many of the senior reps of the companies actually doing business in Ecuador, and to learn from other experiences where we can start joint efforts like, for example, METS, trying to have METS established in Ecuador through a way to uh, not reinventing the wheel but putting together the best companies you have in Australia, interest them to move and have actions, representations, or involved in the future mining sector of Ecuador that I foresee that within seven to 10 years will be very attractive. 
for me, in general terms, is education. Education in all senses. We, we shall educate regulators, we shall educate company CEOs, we shall educate people, employees, and the communities in the high impact that the mining industry could have in order to alleviate poverty, in order, in, 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 in order to properly distribute those resources, those royalties coming from the mining projects through transparent and non-corrupted ways, having an impact on people on the most important thing, I insist, alleviating poverty, will make a difference in matters like social issues, in matters like environmental controls, environmental stewardship, and along with the alleviation of poverty, I think we are facing the famous uh, climate change where in the past even the elders, old people, were not paying attention to that. But in the last few months, it is a subject that even our grandpas talk about. So that is a combination. The whole mining industry needs to work really hard. Alleviation of poverty, climate change.